Welcome back and in this lesson we are going to be using the same fundamentals that we discussed about strumming but this time to actually train with it because now we have conceptually understood what strumming is, how does it happen and how is it supposed to sound but we haven't yet mastered it and true mastery for strumming or anything else will come when you actually work with it on the guitar. So pick up your guitar, I want you to get into the playing position now. Before we do that, there's one thing that I want to get out of the way and which is making mistakes when trying to learn strumming. And one of the key mistakes that you want to avoid is to be training your strumming hand along with your fretting hand. So many people make this mistake of strumming along with chords and then they can't get any of that right. Okay, so we will instead be smart and train our strumming hand, our picking hand in isolation initially and then we'll bring it together with our fretting hand while we are learning the chords. Another tip that I'll give you is in your initial days of playing, if you are doing a lot of strumming and sitting in your room and if you have other people in your house, it is quite likely that people would get frustrated listening to the sound of it because it's a lot of noise when it is not really uh, making much musical sense. Uh, so in order to avoid that, what I want you to do is use your fretting hand and lightly touch the strings and that will stop the guitar from ringing out. Okay, it will mute the strings and you need that to practice strumming so that you don't disturb others, so that you don't get bored of listening to the same kind of sound again, while at the same time improving your strumming. We'll start off with some very basic strums and then we will upgrade slowly to other different kinds of rhythms which will include more complex structure in terms of rhythm durations. If you remember our rhythm lesson properly, then you know that we have our whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes. So let's get started with whole note strums first, okay? So we'll be playing whole note strums uh, without any chords. We'll mute the guitar strings. So you'll hear this muted kind of sound. That's absolutely fine. So let's get started. Whole note strums with me. You will be doing now and we'll play together. So we are I'll give you a four count. So we are starting in one, two, three, four, play, two, three, four play two three four play two three four play two three four play two three four okay good now if you were able to get that exercise down we are going to bring slight modification to that exercise what we'll do is we'll play the exercise again but this time I know that you're only playing on the first beat and then you're uh, not playing anything. You're letting it ring out for the next uh, three beats. But for those three beats also, I want you to continuously do this down up movement in an eighth note pattern. Okay, so it will go like this down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the only time you will be hitting the strings is when you get your first downstroke in. So what, what I mean by that is it will look something like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Okay, so let's do that. Ready? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now as you saw over there i'm doing this movement using my wrist i'm not moving my forearm i'm not using any part of my arm third exercise we'll be playing half notes this time one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now you follow along with me let's do that exercise one more time you're starting in one two three four one and two and three and four and 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 one now let's take a look at 
how it will sound if we start playing on all four beats which will be quarter notes you guessed it right okay so we'll play quarter notes we'll play the down strokes only and we'll skip the up stroke on the way back up and let's see how that sounds one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one okay let's try that ready one and two and three and four and 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 what i want you to notice is that we are skipping the upstroke but we are not stopping there so don't do this one and two and one and two. don't do that stuff okay you will keep your hand going remember wiper it's like a wiper it will keep going once you start it the fourth exercise we'll play all eighth notes and this time instead of skipping the upstroke we'll start playing the upstroke also so here we have to remember about our third point third, fun third fundamental of strumming which is carefree upstroke. So don't worry about how many strings you hit on the way up. Don't make this painting motion with your wrist. Instead, keep it neutral, straight, and just use your wrist to flip it around to get the downstroke and upstroke. Are you ready? So let's do that now. One and two and three and four and 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 one now we'll make it much more interesting okay so let me show you what we are going to do and then we'll start doing that on the guitar so it's important for us to understand this conceptually first so right now we are playing in a four uh, four by four time signature so one bar of music has eight eighth notes and these are representing our eighth notes where the these these represent the downstroke and this is the upstroke so if we count it goes one and two and three and four and what we'll do is we will try to skip some of these downstrokes and that will produce something which we generally call as strumming patterns i'm not a big fan of that word because i don't like people learning patterns because that is what actually uh, makes things worse for strumming instead you have to internalize strumming and come up with patterns instantly whenever you want so what we'll do is we'll skip some of these strokes to create a rhythmic pattern that sounds more interesting than going plain down up down up down up down up and to begin with we will skip this down stroke okay so you will still be making the motion with your hand it will still make the downward motion but you will not hear anything because you will skip the strings on the way down okay so that will create a rhythm which will sound something like this so we'll go down up down up skip up down up down up down up skip up down up so pause the video or go back play along with me or try it on your own and get this rhythm right so this will be our first rhythm pattern as such that we can uh, call it that we will learn and we will apply to our songs as soon as we start learning different chord progressions. The next rhythm that we can do is we will keep this, let's skip this up stroke. Okay, so now we are playing a quarter note on beat number one and we will also skip this down stroke. Okay, so this will be slightly more challenging compared to what you just did there so we still have our hand movements happening in the same direction but we will not be playing anything make sure that you still keep your hand going but you skip the strings okay so that will sound like this one two and and four and one two and and four and down skip down up skip up down up down skip down up skip up down up 
so you see how easy it is to come up with interesting rhythms if you just follow the right technique in your hands which is why you don't need to learn a bunch of strumming patterns that you will see written on top of songs that you have to play this song so and so uh, with so and so pattern it's completely false if you know your rhythm right if you know how to strum properly you can come up with any rhythm that actually suits that song all right so while we are playing around with it let's experiment okay keep this first up stroke and let's take out this down stroke let's try and see what happens when we play this rhythm okay so now we are skipping the second and third down stroke here so that will sound like this down up skip up skip up down up down up skip up skip up down up down up skip up skip up down up i hope you're getting how i'm easily able to come up with various kinds of strumming patterns without actually having to learn any new pattern as such or practice it so this is what i want you to train and get to where you don't have to rely on some bunch of notations to know how you're going to play a certain song instead that rhythm should come from inside so that's our training method with strumming now we are going to be applying many of these rhythms when we start playing our chord progressions and which is coming up uh, in the upcoming lessons make sure that you make the movements properly with your wrist and not with your arm now initially all this might feel like a challenge i completely understand that you might feel like how is he able to do this uh, so quickly when i am not getting it that is fine trust me i was exactly where you are today and for me strumming took a really good time for me to actually internalize but the good thing i did was i learned the right techniques in the beginning and i worked on it every day 5 to 10 minutes and i came up with extremely good strumming technique in a very short period of time so you can also do that just have faith in yourself and uh, go through the lesson again go back train with me on different rhythms uh, within one or two weeks you should be uh, strumming like a pro at least at a slow speed so i'll see you in the next lesson